Okay, and we have gathered here for another full spoiler editing session. We're going over the manuscript of Seeker for fine tuning moments and such. And last time we was here. Mhm. Mm Jewel tried to contain her turbulent thoughts. It began to make sense why her father had always been so keen to keep her under lock and key. She pressed her palms to her temples and closed her eyes for a second to refocus. Hungry for answers, she read on. After the arrest, Fortune had been promptly transferred to an off-world containment centre, with no chance for the family to interfere. She couldn't fathom why her parents had kept all this from her, or why they'd stopped trying to find him. So there's just a couple of uh, law issues in there. There's major lore is issues here because we have to make sure that this part and the reveals at the end actually bounce off of each other. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, let's see. Uh, one major issue here is that. Uh, um, the original text says why her parents had kept kept it from her when in reality she doesn't remember Trista al uh, almost at all. Mm -hmm. So any information that she gets she gets from Maxis. So she couldn't fathom why her father had kept it from her. But uh, but uh, it's going to be a little bit more complicated than just replacing the pronouns here. I think this entire thing from like here to here probably needs a scrub. I will mark it yellow. Or or you can okay, I will mark it yellow. All of that. My room is just a mess of mugs and glasses. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, it was so tidy this morning, if oh. you can believe that. <laughs> we we'll also have to take your word for it. Mm -hmm. Also, it began to make sense why her father had always been so keen to keep her under lock and key is too much. Mm hmm. Uh, so I'm going to try to make this considerably shorter. Yeah. Boop. Let's see something like Ah, uh, actually, I think we we uh, we stopped earlier than at this point. Because I don't, I don't really remember the previous paragraphs or, or, or working on the previous paragraphs either. No, we we worked on these because I remember the dun dun dun. Ah, okay. Uh, I, I think my notes are more up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I, now I understand. <laughs> I was like, uh, why don't I have notes here? But my notes are uh, are together the previous thingy yeah uh, also i i i now have an answer for the uh, how to say legal age or or how to indicate uh, the uh, mm, ad, ad, uh, beginnings of the adulthood in mm -hmm. our chaos business age yeah poof done and done Yeah, the uh, dossier entry itself, or reading the dossier entry, needs uh, needs some serious attention here. Uh, ah, 
I see that we have already deleted a whole lot. Yeah, I think uh, even though we worked through this part, I think my brain had already checked out because I don't actively remember <laughs> thinking this part. these be for now and I will be able to work on these on my own and actually same thing with this update family facts so actually fortune had been transferred to an off-world containment center that one is o is okay fact wise and no chance for the family interfere that's also fact wise okay it's just how we say that uh, they that she didn't know about it mhm mm Why now? Why had all this data intruded her life all of a sudden? Was it a ploy to drag her back to the world she had left behind? Jewel glowered at the papers with menace. Then she realised. Her family had not gone bankrupt because of a bad business deal. They had been looking for her brother. Perceptive as Jewel was, they had managed to hide the truth from her all this time. An idea dawned that perhaps they had been trying to protect her from the same fate, even if it meant sacrificing her freedom in the process. She thought of the money she had taken, the family's last funds, and felt a pang of guilt. Okay, so... Probably cut that last sentence entirely. Yeah, um, I don't know. I, I will mark it yellow for, for the moment. But we have already established that uh, the family didn't quite go bankrupt. They just got poorer. Hmm. had not been losing money because blah 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 okay and I will mark I will mark it all yellow mm. because uh, because it's it's not just wording it's uh, it's also checking the facts and again I think I can uh, I can carry on with this on my own later. What's happening? Oh, I think the cats are going a little bit <laughs> uh, wacko behind the window. <coughs> and also I would uh, trim the sentences shorter in the beginning here. Why had this data intruded their life? That's enough. Mm -hmm. if, if it has intruded their life, it's already sudden. And if she's glowering at the papers, then she's already menacing enough. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Jewel glanced at the printouts and credits, trying to contain her thoughts. She felt a tug of annoyance at her growing curiosity, and an equally strong tug of needing answers. Unwilling to deal with either, she directed her attention to her brother's portrait. Fortune Harper shared his, si his sister's soft, round features and flaxy skin. His eyes pale blue like their mother's, and his straight hair a few shades lighter than Jules. She frowned at the myriad of questions she didn't know she even had before arrival. Her mind returned to her meal at the bar, the stranger in his words. It dawned on her how little say she had in the, she had, had in the recruitment, how she'd been briefed as if the matter had already been settled. Jewel stretched herself out on the floor and stared at the panels above her, away from those damn paper papers. 
She kept staring until her eyelids grew heavy, and without warning or protest, Jewel fell into a deep slumber. Okay, this needs some text work. All of it. Hmm. That her brain is in turmoil. Mm hmm. And you could probably get rid of an equally strong tug of needing answers. Yeah, I need to rethink the next sentence altogether. Mm hmm. Like uh, annoyance and, and, and curiosity had a tug of war or whatever. Or like. Yeah. Some, something something to indicate both but in a, in a more snappish manner and this whole she frowned at the myriad of questions she didn't know she even had before arrival there's pr it's it, this it, it could probably be tight tightened up a little bit mm -hmm. that one that one sentence in particular yeah so basically this is uh uh, Content-wise, it's okay, but the text needs. It needs screwing D down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Break down the wrench, motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, you're still, uh, you're still uh, in the mind that they should remain all one chapter um personally yes i don't think it's n it's not enough of a change between mm. i don't oh, think yeah. to justify a chapter change yeah so Lengthwise, it would make sense, but but since we're sort of still dealing with the same situation, it sort of mm -hmm. belongs together. Okey same situation, same location, same person. I don't think it's a big enough leap to justify mm. a chapter change. Okay. Mm hmm. In terms I of length, I understand why it might be an idea to, to chop it. But I, I feel stronger on the side of one than I do on the other right now. Mm. I mean, this is one of those things, this is something we were hoping Kylie would have picked up on. Mm. Um, but she she never did. So I don't know if that means it's okay or if it was just something that... Yeah, maybe she's just accepting our asterisks and say, okay, oh, oh all right then. Yeah. <laughs> So maybe maybe next time when we present this to someone, explain uh, when we present it to some trusted readers, maybe explain to some of the trusted readers what the specific feedback is we're looking for. Whereas some of them we can just be like, let us know what you think, sort of deal. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. That's that's a conversation and a tangent for an entirely different day. Do carry on. Jewel was woken by Solitaire's proximity alarm blaring inside her foggy mind. She stumbled to her feet and, still not quite awake, pointed her weapon at the shuttle door. It slid open in unison with her safety clicking off. A handful of well-armed mercenaries spilled in and took positions behind the shuttle's hardware. One glance told Jewel that she wouldn't have... One glance told Jewel that... One glance told Jewel that she wouldn't have stood a chance. The second revealed she didn't have to. Nodding at the familiar insignia, she clicked the safety back on. What's the meaning of this? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what is the meaning of this? She kept her usual blunt tone while tucking her weapon into its place. After receiving the all clear from his team, one of the mercenaries stepped forward with an apologetic look on his face. Apologies, ma'am. Overseer Raptor asked us to check on you. Oh, I'm having some real difficulty here. You're going to mm -hmm. have to... Sorry, bear with me. Yep. Apologies, ma'am. Overseer Raptor asked us to check on you as you were not responding to calls 
and you've been unresponsive for twice the standard docking time. Since you did not respond to our direct calls either, we popped the hatch and, well, you know the rest. His explanation sounded sincere, but Jewel still shook her head in confusion. I appreciate the concern, but I assure you I am more than capable of looking after myself. While that may be, ma'am, it is our duty to ensure that all visitors to this station remain healthy and living long enough to continue on their journeys. Just doing our job, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the uh, dialogue needs some tightening. Let's see, maybe I can do it on right away. What is the meaning of this? It may be cut she kept her blunt tone, kept or her usual blunt tone. Yeah, I think let's just have her tuck her weapon away. She... Tuck your weapon in place. Should it be into its place or just in place? Uh, she tucked her weapon back into its place, back if I was to, to do it. to its place. Or back in its place. <laughs> Where has she been keeping it, then? <laughs> to... to her place. Well, like, to in its, a holster to, to or its, something. To its place. Back to its okay, place. Okay, that works better. After receiving the all clear from his team, one of the most... See, we've, uh, because we've labelled them as mercenaries, uh, um, yeah. Mm. That yeah, we're changing it yeah. to something else, but that's making the sentences a bit more clunkier. Because it's a it's a big word. I'm not good with big words. <laughs> <laughs> words hurt my brain. <laughs> yeah. That should just be like one of the team stepped forward with an apologetic look on his face. Yeah. Yeah. And you should, why should he need to receive the all clear? I think they'd probably just meander off yeah. once they realise everything's all right. I don't know. Um, receiving the all clear. The patrol time. leader. Yeah. And can we do something about unapologetic yeah. apologies? Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Can you have an empathetic face? I don't think that really makes a lot of sense. More like remorse. I don't know. It's like he's inconvenienced her, but at the same time he's justified in that he's doing his job. Yeah. So I don't really know how to word that. If we could, if there was a word that described that. frown. Yeah, yeah maybe. Uh. <laughs> um, Empathetic frown. Un understanding. Uh, yeah. Empathetic then. Yeah, go with empathetic for now. I think we've used something, something like this somewhere. Frowning and yeah, I split the n into mm. into half. And getting rid of that on his face. That's just tighten that. I already, but I already yeah. did. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. Because of you getting rid of that, it's tightened yeah. up that whole yeah. section. Uh, can you move your cursor uh, up or down? Gonna... down. Yeah. I'm going to move it up, just to get it right out of the way. But now I'll just scroll down. Check on you. I think the clunk of this part of the sentence, so I've just moved my cursor back down, well done Dave. The clunk of this <laughs> sentence coming from this 
single word here, I think. One glance told Jewel she wouldn't have stood a chance. The second revealed she didn't have to. Yeah, maybe. Uh, change it then. Although, that's that's one of those sentences that might be too clever words for its own good. Like, oh, look at how clever I'm writing. <laughs> Told Jewel she wouldn't have stood a chance. The second re revealed she didn't have to. Maybe I fair. like it personally, but the second half of that sentence is clunkier than it needs to be. Yeah. This is speaking to Jewel's just general attitude of like observing shit and all that. So, I mean, it's important, but do we need to mention it? I do like the the image it provides, but I don't know how well we're playing it here. That might be a bit better. One glance told Jewel she wouldn't have stood a chance. The second, that she didn't have to. Yeah. That's that's as good as I can make it. I can imagine Stephen Fry reading it right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the ultimate accolade. If you get Stephen Fry to do one of your audio books, <laughs> wow, you've made it. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, you know... you. It you're, you're the bollocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And when he and when he requests uh, you to uh, change the word pocketed it, it would be it's a nice <laughs> thing to actually edit it out and replace it with something more, so, something more, something less of a mouthful. <laughs> if there had been an editor present. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then then again... Uh, yes, as I, I look at, I look at the text. Balance. Yeah, I, I look at the text with its uh, audio aspect in mind to begin with. Mm. So, so there's that. Doesn't mean it always works, but you know. Okay, so where were we? The patrol leader stepped forward with an empathetic frown. Oh, apologies, ma'am. Velociraptor asked us to check on you. Maybe sent us to check on you. Just audio reads better. <laughs> Yeah. Sent us to check on you. Yeah, it is basically the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. In this in this instance. I in my head I was like, does Raptor have the authority to just send Rystar security to do his bidding? And I was like, it pro it's a non issue, you know. Yeah. You have not responded to any calls, and let's see. And do 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 do. Okay, and this this is one of the points where where I can uh, introduce continuity with the later chapter. Uh, the uh, the door override feature mm -hmm. for all the shuttles. Mm. 
although I, I don't think I even have to word it in any specific way it's clear that the some it's it, it's openable from outside if there if there is a need Obviously, a raptor sent us to check on you. Since you have not responded to any calls. Twice the yeah, standard and standard. I'm having some issues with responded and unresponsive. Mm -hmm. I d but I'm such a hypocrite because if you look at the thing, the text that you've just replaced, respond comes first and unresponsive comes second, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it doesn't it doesn't stand out as much to me for whatever reason. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just nitpicking, man. Um, that second standard, like, you could probably just cut by standard and replace it with following. Following protocol, oh, we... Sh oh, okay, okay, sorry. Uh, I'm not discussing it right now, I am finding words to put in place. Dialogue can probably be made a lot shorter. I'm having some troubles with this sentence. The more I read it, the less I like it. Put the weapon away. Will that do? Y yeah. Because I think this sentence is supposed to be she tucked her weapon back in its place. I don't think to its place is the right thing for tucking things away. <laughs> I don't know. thing is that uh, if there's a sentence where something feels off, whether it actually is off or isn't, and then you read it a few more times, then the words no longer even make sense. It's like, uh, why are people <laughs> using this word to say this? It's like, it's just noise. <laughs> <laughs> I did have to read it like 30 odd times though, I was just like, there's something not quite yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you can, you can tell that there is something going on, you can't just, you, you just can't put your finger on it. Mm. Boop boop. Bop, bop. Okay, I'm gonna read this again mm -hmm. with the, uh, with the edits. Okie dokie. Jules woken by Solitaire's proximity alarm blaring into her foggy mind. She stumbled to her feet and, still not quite awake, pointed her weapon at the exit. It popped in, uni in unison with her safety clicking off. A well-armed security unit spilled in and took positions behind the shuttle's hardware. One glance told Jules she wouldn't have stood a chance, the second that she didn't have to. Noting the familiar insignia, she clicked the safety back on. What is the meaning of this? She put her weaponry away. Oh, she put her weapon away, sorry. <laughs> the patrol leader stepped forward with an empathetic frown. Apologies, ma'am. Overseer Raptor sent us in for a check. You have not responded to any calls and your shuttle has been idle for twice the approved docking time. By standard protocol, we are obligated to... Da -da -da -da. <laughs> That's the technical term. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all the rest of this, actually now... Uh, you could probably... Yeah, this one I can... Oh, I'm gonna move. Yeah. So this one I can yeah. remove altogether. Yeah.
What is it when the police break into somewhere to do a care check on someone? Sure I think there's a specific... It's not, it, they don't, they're not breaking in to look for criminal activity, mm -hmm. it's like there's a word, like a care, I want to say care check, but that doesn't, that's not right. Welfare check? Maybe? I don't know. Hang on. No, I don't want the welfare checklist. <laughs> what even is that? The most commonly, welfare checks are done when family members or friends call the police department and ask that a family member or friend is checked on because they have not heard from the person or believe that the person is in need of assistance. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> these uh, these security dudes are mm -hmm. basically doing a welfare check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's that's what they're doing. But I will I will tr uh, try to figure out the wording probably mm -hmm. tomorrow. Shall I read the bit in green as well? Mm-hmm. His explanation sounded sincere, but Jules still shook her head in confusion. Oh, that was something I wanted to mention. In confusion, we can cut that. Mm -hmm. his, explana his explanation sounded sincere, but Jules still shook her head. I appreciate the concern, but I assure you I'm more than capable of looking after myself. While that may be, ma'am, it is our duty to ensure that all visitors to this station remain healthy and living long enough to continue on their journeys. Just doing our job, ma'am. I like the sort of passive aggressiveness of him. It, yeah. it suits him a little bit. <laughs> it is for your own good. Mhm. Mm Jewel so, folded. Her oh, okay. Go on. Yeah. So his uh, his line is okay, and also his line is basically, uh, exp bas basically uh, giving the welfare check aspect mm. of it. So actually, I'm gonna remove marker from here. There's also an element that there's that sort of recorded. If if you encounter people and they give you jip for checking on them, give this standard sort of response. Yeah, yeah. It is yeah. our duty to ensure that yeah, all yeah. visitors to this station, <laughs> you know. And he's trying to be polite. He's like, ma'am, ma'am, you know. <laughs> Pacing plus one, nice. I appreciate the concern, but I am more than capable of looking after myself. You can get rid of the, uh, I assure you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate the concern. Yeah, ba basically cut a lot of the redundant sort of repetition and redundancy. There's an element of this further on where she's a bit snobbish about this whole thing, mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm better than you kind of thing. Um, so I think this was the start of that, her telling him, you know, I am more than capable. More capable than you, motherfucker. Uh. Uh, should we say his explanation sounded sincere? It's more like he sounded sincere. Yeah. But Jules, but Jules shook her head instead of still shook her head. Yeah. He sounded yeah, but Jewel shook her head. I appreciate the concern. I'm, on the mm -hmm. uh, I'm even having a little bit of uh, quarrel with the bot here, because uh, like because there needs to be a beat there, though. I think there needs to be. Yeah, but the, the, the thing it. thing is that thing is that uh, meaning wise, the two parts of the sentence don't contradict e each other. Not not mm. that not enough to put a bot in there. Uh, it's more like uh, Jewel understood what he was saying, but she didn't accept it. That's that's the idea. Mm -hmm. But uh, right now it's like. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I will do I will do it like this. I will mark unmark 
like this and leave this one for some thinking. This is some this is some precision tinkering. It it's because it's because we've lost the in confusion part that it's thrown that out because with the in confusion mm -hmm. there was a little bit more of a contrast between the two. Yeah, but uh, still not enough to justify a but though. No, the um, rhythm wise uh, it did fit better, but. Uh, Content wise, it was still a bit nonsense because if if Jewel was uh, confused, like she's she's not confused anymore. She's uh, she's just being contrary. She's just being obtuse. Okay. Like if she said, uh, if if the original read that I assure you, I am more than capable of taking care of myself. It's it's not the question of uh, why did you come? I don't need you. It's like, I don't want you here. <laughs> mm. So it's uh, different emotions at play. But I will I will leave it for tomorrow to think. Okay, I'm going to carry on. Mm -hmm. Jewel folded her arms and let her gaze drift over the main screen. Appreciate the concern, like I said. Now, how can I prevent this from happening in the future? The best practice would be to activate your vessel's sleep mode. That will ensure a period of privacy, ma'am. Jules gaze snapped back to the squad leader. Out there, I am usually in stasis. Didn't cross my mind. Apologies for the inconvenience. The mercenaries left as quickly as they had intruded. Jules was about to unleash a growl at the closing door when the main display blinked and a monotone, monotone voice announced four messages waiting. Four messages waiting. <laughs> okay, just Where, am I? <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? Pull this into a, into one tight paragraph. Maybe, maybe even not. How would I prevent this from happening? How would one prevent prevent such <laughs> such thing, things from happening? issue here hmm. uh, why would the voice only announce for message waiting now it hasn't had a voice before so yeah there hasn't been uh, so far we have been hmm, we have been communicating with uh, just uh, uh, with just uh, messages on the screen, although mm -hmm. later on there there will be voice, so uh, it's it's not unheard of. <laughs> 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 but, but but here's the thing: Jewel has been inside the interior for a while, and let's mm -hmm. say let us assume for a second that uh, there is a voice notification for uh, for pending messages. Why is it only speaking up now? Like yeah. it should it should have been uh, uh, it should have been uh, on all the time, and this leads me to uh, it's there. There is uh, my thinking is let's put let let us put a noise there that has been there uh, the beeping, 
like she only notices the beeping now and sees that the display is is blinking the message. All right, yeah. I guess this can stay as it is. Okay. Carry on. Hey Valk, it's your favourite overseer here. Just checking in to make sure you're okay. Been sitting in that bay for a while now and it isn't making us any money. Buzz me when you get this, Raptor out. Jewel let out another heavy sigh. Raptor keeping an eye on her was bad enough, but now she'd also have to contact him to sort out the matter. She tapped the next one. Valkyrie, Raptor, get in touch. We'll need to move you into the civilian bay soon due to inactivity. That dock isn't meant for long stay. Raptor out. It's just a damn shuffle! Jules slammed her fist into the desk. Tap. Are you lost? Do you not know what it is that you seek? Do you not know whom to believe? It may be too late, but maybe it is not too late for you! As Corona's witness, you can become so much more. Unlock the secrets of the universe. Let the light of ancient wisdom shine on you! Today and... <laughs> sorry. Join today and complete the circle! All right. Uh, I'm going to pause there. Excellent work. <laughs> Every time. I always read that with a smile on my face. <laughs> we, should do, we should do a video at some point in the future about Corona's Witness and how they started a, just like an offhand thing oh, in Black yeah. Star and became this serious sort of like religious <laughs> organisation. Uh, actually... Um. Uh, this gives me an idea for a whole uh, chat session, or like a whole series, the uh, the groups and factions and guilds that mm. our characters run into, because we have we have Corona's Witnesses, we have Arcade's Disciples. Yeah. There might be more. If we if we dig in. Uh, into some stories, we might be able to identify some more groupy gatherings. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm all on board for that. Yeah, okay, let's see. Do -do 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 -do. Here, the main thing is to think uh, to just check the paragraph flow. I think the dialogue from Raptor is spot on. Yeah, I, I wouldn't touch the dialogue either. Maybe Jules slamming her fist into the desk could come before it's just a damn shuttle. Yep. And it should be, I think it should be in into the desk. Maybe onto the desk, she slammed her fist. You slam your fist into the wall, but you you slam your fist onto the desk. Yeah, I think that's probably right. <laughs> <coughs> Don't mind me. Just working through some things here. <laughs> I could uh, slip in my override mm. word planting the planting the foreshadowing <laughs> Rysak out They're such badasses Rysak, you know that's serious business <laughs> And totally not like more security for a space station, not at all. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna read that. Mm -hmm. Rice Star Station security to solitaire. Inactivity limit reached. Failure to respond to this message will result in deployment of security team and override entry. Rysec out. Ah. Oh. Jewel tried to force her voice to a somewhat normal level. Open communication with Overseer Raptor. The screen blinked in confirmation. Connecting, 
connected to Overseer Raptor, Seeker Base, Rystar Station. Uh, carry on. I think that's all pretty good, to be honest with you. Yeah, the only only thing that I want to double check is how we present the, the quote unquote unquote uh, established connection to somebody on the other side. I want to make sure that Raptors connection info is th is following the same scheme as the other guys. I don't think they connect to Seeker Base. I think they connect to Seeker Network. Mm -hmm. So I think if you check other ones where they're connecting to like Heinz, it's Seeker Seeker Network, not Seeker Base. I don't know why that's there, but okay. I'm gonna continue reading. Just a second, let me check. With Haynes it's it doesn't specify at all. J Haynes Seeker Agent Rystar is the current version, which oh. is which is wrong anyway. Is it when she connects to the bounty board it's like connected to Seeker Network? Maybe yeah, but yeah, this is something that I need to think mm. about a little bit. Okay. Ah! Raptor's response was overly enthusiastic. So you are alive! Jewel hissed. What is your fucking problem? Raptor was obviously taken back. I, I beg your pardon? You heard me. I dock here barely a spin's worth and you send the pocket patrol on me. A practical joke of yours? I was concerned. Do you honestly think I need you to hold my hand? I might be the youngest in the archive, but I'm not the one who needs watching. Back to this, are we? Now listen here, young lady. It is you flaunting the private contract, a paper contract no less, and then going unresponsive to all hails. Try, try to read it uh, with uh, Ron Glass inton intonation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, there's a section here that's like, but I'm not the one needs watching. I added, but I'm not the one who needs watching. I don't uh, know if that's right. Yeah. I'm one that I'm needs concerned. watching. I will mark it yellow. Kay. Like there could be some sort of snooty remark here, because otherwise the previous. Uh, uh, previous um, interaction doesn't mean much but uh, but I, I won't leave it as it is um, okay so the next bit it carries on it's I was asleep and then Raptor says asleep is your pods deep sleep unit broken mm -hmm. so we can we can get rid of all of this but then that wrecks some of the later stuff in the paragraph as well. Um, yeah, so I will mark this one yellow. Also, uh, rap raptor. Okay, here's here's where we have to tread the fine line between what raptor actually knows and what uh, what jewel thinks he knows. Uh, as an overseer, he would be familiar with the layout of uh, of each craft so mm -hmm. he he's very well aware that uh, that jewel doesn't have uh, com accommodations in there yeah uh, so okay he might be pushing her uh, by saying uh, let's let's send a mechanic but uh, it's still it's it's kind of out of place that he's asking about deep sleep unit. Yeah. So maybe. Um, like if we leave this in at all, I think it sh it should go something like um, not is your is your uh, deep s ah okay pod pods deep deep sleep unit this doesn't this doesn't belong at all. Hmm. But Cryo doesn't work that way, yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and this is stasis anyway. <laughs> stasis uh, doesn't work that way either. That's a side yeah. note, stasis doesn't work that way either. <laughs> God, I don't know what I was talking about. <laughs> okay. Uh, but 
uh, but we might still be able to use uh, use the expression and he's like oh I've been telling you should uh, install a deep sleep unit in s instead mm. of uh, stasis pod or something I will yeah. I can send an engineer no because <laughs> that's the crux of it really he wants to send someone else down there to sort of intrude her personal space a little bit, you know. Or, that's or what. More like, uh, well, he doesn't. He doesn't want to, but he's alluding that he. he well, wants yeah, to. yeah. Also, ducks and chaos, cryo, mm -hmm. Se seeker, stasis, <laughs> Anita, K N cryo, <laughs> yeah. seeker, stasis, analog, you know. digital. <laughs> <laughs> Massive difference. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, Abacus computer. <laughs> <laughs> Abacus Nokia 3310. Uh, okay. Uh, so, that's quite a good comparison. A slow muffled. Mu <laughs> a slow muffled breath sounded through the comms. While you are parked here, you are not doing your job. While you are not out doing your job, that is collecting the bounties, the funds are not coming in. While the funds are not coming in, we are paying extra to guarantee the seeker bay upkeep and specialist supplies. The very upkeep and supplies you are currently spending time using up. This is not a civilian bay. Ergo, uh, this is my business. <laughs> God damn it, man. <laughs> full, 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 and I love it. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> Jewel had uh, stopped listening. Oh, okay. You're gonna go I on. I want to. I want to finesse something here. You want to give it a little tickle. Yeah. It's a rare hyphen comma. Jewel had stopped listening halfway through Raptor's tirade. Should that be a... a comma... A, no. Uh, oh yeah, comma. A, a, apostrophe. <laughs> in a, in a it is ca catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> in a studio we call it the upper comma. Mm. Apo apostrophe. Yeah. Catastrophe. <laughs> 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 um, okay. She tapped a few commands into her console. A soft chirp sounded from Raptor's end. What's this? My fee for this bounty. So, Valkyrie, you... you uh, what's going on here? This is a total mess. You, comma, R, or you, apostrophe, R. I think, I think it has been your, your taking, and I have... Uh I have left the residual upper comma there. <laughs> Wait, okay. So, Valkyrie... Sorry, hang on. Let me get back into character. <laughs> Shouldn't be allowed on the internet. So, Valkyrie, you are taking the job that I explicitly advised you not to. Maybe you need to be shown that I can look after myself. Then go through the network as usual. Private contracts are nothing but trouble. This job has already paid me four times what any job on the network could get me, and this is just a down payment. I, and that doesn't raise any alarms. Why not go through the network? Choose a more experienced seeker. Maybe they know I get the job done. Not like those other jokers. I am well aware that you do not approve. Solitaire broke away from the bay's tethers and hovered towards the airlock. Jewel, if you take this contract, you're going to regret it. Or maybe I'll find a purpose for myself out there, without the Seekers. The shuttle drifted into the airlock and the aperture closed behind it. There's a couple of things where it's like, so, comma, Valkyrie, mm -hmm. comma, I take it, this job. Yeah. And Jewel, comma, if you take this contract, you're going to regret it. Uh, in here, I would want to tune Raptor's tone a little bit to make sure that it, that it's um, that it doesn't come off as too offending. Because right now, it really sounds as if he's uh, uh, 
uh, as if he is uh, sincerely trying to stop Jewel from taking the contract. Mm. And this and bit here can can go, I think. Uh, this bit is actually good because it's sort of pushing. Like uh, we we have to. Uh, basically, the idea is that uh, even if he comes off as a sincere, we also need to sort of uh, plant the seed that he is pushing her buttons. Like, he mm. is sort of uh, insinuating that, oh, maybe maybe uh, find a more experienced seeker to uh, to do this job. Mm. Or, or maybe you don't have what it takes. So, just, just to wind her up. You don't have what it takes would set Jewel on fire, I think. Yeah, uh, so let's see. Maybe he should pose the question. Let's see. Uh, also, uh, uh, this. Mm. Like, this is too strong. You are taking the job that I explicitly advised you not to. And even though, semantically, we're in the clear, uh, when later Jewel will ask, uh, Oh, but you told me to... Uh, to you, you, not ta you told me to not take it. And he says, No, I told you it would be trouble. Mm -hmm. We have to make sure that it checks out. Yeah. Uh, you know, for all the contracts are trouble. So yeah, I think I will I will move it from here to here. would likely prove trouble or that will only bring trouble and I'm not even gonna pose it as question ooh, 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 ooh. Put the sick burn right in the middle. <laughs> and I think uh, this should be compacted into into one. Mm. Because he's he's uh, saying something about the network twice. Uh, so basically, why not go through the network? I say supervise or tag along <laughs> a company or assist with the mission. <laughs> wow, Raptor. <laughs> All the buttons. Of course, uh, now some of the dialogue uh, isn't making 
full sense anymore. Mm -hmm. So we need to think this through. So Valkyrie, you are taking this job that I will that that okay. You are taking this job that will only mean trouble is not a very good wording. That could mean So Valkyrie, you are taking this job that could mean a lot of trouble. Are you sure you have what it takes? And this is where she should get up toes. Mm-hmm. So may basically this this line maybe belongs here or modification of this line. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Myself, and I get the job done. Mm -hmm. Always. Cut all the payment info. Mm -hmm. Why do these dots have a space before them? Because it's like a separate entity. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm not used to seeing that. I don't know. Yeah, that's how it should be. We. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure whether I put it there on purpose or by accident. Okay, okay. and uh, this should also be a little bit vague. Not, not you're going to regret it, but Jewel, you don't know what you're getting into. <laughs> yes. Because, yes. Because this is, this is literally true as well. Mm-hmm. I think you don't know what you're getting into is probably you do not know what you're getting in. you don't know what you're getting into Jewel you don't know what you're getting into yeah but if you put this mentor mask on Jewel you do not know what you're getting yourself into ah oh, yourself into ah uh, there you go and her reply doesn't make any sense anymore Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you do not know what you're getting yourself into. Maybe I'm getting out of. Maybe it's what I'm getting out of that's important. Important. Mm. No, you're not no, feeling too, it. Too too literal. Ah. Uh, this is the. I, I don't I don't want the banter that hangs on the exact phrases.
sweet deal, yo. Yeah, I think this is this is good enough. I will uh, I will read it over tomorrow, and uh, and uh, then it will if if there's something iffy, it will easily stand out. Should we run through chapter five real quick? It's only a page and a little bit. Yep. Okay. When in transit between systems, Jewel would normally enter stasis. This time she was out and awake, sorting through the mess of papers, meticulously feeding information to the shuttle's computer, page by page. I'm just going to do it paragraph at a time, break it down real yeah. smooth. Yeah, I will want it's to edit the very first sentence already. I would, I would put it something like, normally... Saying saying all the same things but in different order basically like normally Jewel would enter stasis for her transit between systems. Yeah. Actually, let me type it in right away. Text. Jewel let out a whistle of accomplishment, shoving a page out of sight. She made to cross-reference the information with the network, but was quickly reminded that she couldn't. The link to the Netrix had been cut off when they'd entered transit. The computer kept a buffer of information from the last place visited, but it wasn't nearly enough for proper analysis. Although this dampened her enthusiasm, she continued to build up her own data cache, inputting it to her pad, commit her hair. Okay, I can see what you've highlighted in green. Mm -hmm. Inputting it to her pad helped her commit it to memory unlike any contract she had taken before. Eh, eh. <laughs> also, I see that it is not just a wording issue, it is also uh, a content issue. If we're saying that uh, she was able to memorize things like never before, uh, this can't be true because she has to have the memorizing skill as mm. part of her normal conduct. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, do we, uh, as a rule, we capitalize transit, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. I think yeah. that's what we're trying to bring in. Yeah, because it's it's basically it's basically like a brand name or like a. A, an approved protocol of doing the doodad with the thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> doing the dude with the dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what would a good example be? I imagine... Uh, uh, internet. Internet is basically a, a sort of a nickname or a, or a, or a brand name. Or, or World Wide, we Wide Web. Yeah. Is... It's a series of tubes, <laughs> 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 but it has it has basically become a a brand name or or, or like the protocol name. And this is in, this is pretty important information. All this stuff, like how some of this background information in the universe works. Mm -hmm. So I like that. Um, yeah, there is of course the thing that uh, when she gets far enough. Uh, from um, ah okay this this isn't really an issue yeah because entering transit doesn't require uh, going that far it just requires enough of empty space but exiting transit is the is the catastrophic event <laughs> look out space <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We broke the space! <laughs> <laughs> Not only did we break it, but we bought Tim Curry with us. Now who's laughing? <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I think I can just cut this sentence. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
I'm going to get rid of my cursor as well. Get out of here, cursor. Okay. Carry on? Yeah. Certain things stood out. According to the dossier, her brother had been a quiet, well-liked aquaponics technician in his second training period at one of our chaos' more reputable learning institutes. Jewel found it unlikely that a person like this would normally be arrested. She wondered what might have happened and concluded Fortune's personality lent itself to someone who was an easy target, especially for a rival corporation or entity that wanted to hurt their father in his business ventures. Analyzing another page, Jewel found a summary about Maxis Harper's newfound wealth. Can you say long sentences? <laughs> okay, so... Summary about newfound wealth is, is iffy content and... <laughs> iffy content. <laughs> <laughs> I approve. And aquaponics technician in his second training period in a learning <laughs> institute <laughs> is very <laughs> iffy content. And it's a fucking mouthful. Yeah, <laughs> like we can uh, we can share it for uh, linguistic reasons, but uh, there's also world building reasons. So basically, at this point, uh, the backstory is clear enough that uh, whatever learning these kids did, it was happening in their family compound, mm -hmm. and and same goes for the research. So Fortune is not so much an aquaponics, like he can still be aquaponics technician or, or he can still be a trainee, he can still have a tutor, but uh, it would have to be transferred into, into the uh, uh, home, homeschooling uh, context. So it could be that uh, that uh, he is in indeed training under somebody, but uh, but he's he's not like working elsewhere. He's doing his experiments at the compound. Yeah. Oh, we can actually zip. Yeah. Oh, wait, it goes on. So let's put the iffy content together with other iffy content. Analyzing another page, Jewel found a summary about Maxis Harper's newfound wealth. Ever the entrepreneur, her father had kept a backup plan, a plan that was executed after Jewel's rocky departure. The report was brief, but it did mention Maxis striking a deal with an independent investor. This customer paid extremely well for the data Maxis had access to. Her father quickly regained his status among the Archaean wealthy, bought his, the newest family home, and hired an agency to put together the dossier Jewel was now reading. Beyond that, there was no further mention of Maxis' spending habits. Man, <laughs> all the wrong, all the wrongness. <laughs> yeah, all the wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, it might actually be the easiest to just cut it. Yeah. I will mark it grey. Uh, something we might like we might leave in the point. Let me type it in green. We might leave in the point that uh, Maxis has made back the finances they were losing when Jewel was younger. And even they hired an agency to put together the dossier. Better if we don't bring it up. Mm -hmm. So if we leave anything in about uh, about this matter, it's that Maxis has uh, has made some of the wealth back and uh, and is using that wealth to hire uh, hire daughter dearest. Mm -hmm. 
but otherwise yeah I don't I don't even think uh, we have to try to make this this section work just <coughs> cut carry on Jewel reached over to her bag and pulled out a pack of Bora jerky. She absentmindedly tore into it as her mind wandered back to the folder. One page detailed the prison station that Fortune had been held on. After the arrest on Archaos and the off-world processing station, his tracks seemed to vanish. However, Jewel had found another page with big red confidential stamps all over it that detailed Fortune's true location. A, prison, a private prison station where he had been locked up for the last 20 standard years. Or two megaseconds? Question mark? Oh, or are we doing circadians? Circadian is a is a day basically. Uh, my thinking is uh, to do off with the uh, precise numbers. This is the light year light years thing. Why don't why you don't yeah. want light years? So uh, it's more like where he had been locked up ever since. Yeah, basically. Okay, yeah. I was <laughs> I caught something and I was starting to do it but then I jumped here I'll read it again uh, yeah just in case uh, just a second let me no highlight text right Jewel reached over to her bag and pulled out a pack of Bora jerky she absentmindedly tore into it as her mind wandered back to the folder. One page detailed the prison station that Fortune had been held on. Uh, one page detailed the prison station that Fortune had... There's a beat, there could be a beat between there and... After the arrest on Archaos and the off-world processing station, his tracks seemed to vanish. However, Jewel had found another page with big red confidential stamps all over it that detailed Fortune's true location. A private prison station where he'd been locked up for the yeah, 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 ever since. <laughs> Blair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and now, now I remember what I was after. Because nailed it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I, I think we need to uh, go through the uh, go through text elsewhere and check it that uh, this this isn't the Archaeos. This is just Archaeos Four. But yeah, one page detailed the prison station that Fortune had been held on. This doesn't belong here. This is like, this is like. Uh, We're looking at computers now, not pages. No, uh, whatever. But uh, I think she can still work on pages, but. Uh, Prison station is the problem here. Like this is where he ends up. But uh, detailed the one page gave the details of Fortune's imprisonment, something like this. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, that's the, that's that's what it should say. something 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 because uh, as is the sentence reads like at first uh, like at first blurts out the prison station and then it jumps back so it's not as much that there's something missing from here it's just that things are in a little bit wrong order wibbly wobbly timey wimey Ever since and from the 
start from the start. All this time. <laughs> 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 All this time is good. That's yeah, my personal yeah, favourite. Yeah. I'm inclined to agree. Jewel felt an intense sadness washing over her. The dossier, considering its source, might have painted Fortune in a better light than he deserved, but that didn't change the fact that he had been put that he had been but an innocent pawn in an attempt to spite Maxis. Jewel swore to herself that whoever was behind it would pay dearly. She kept chewing and scanning until the jerky ran out and all the pages were neatly back in the folder. The process took a while, and because Solitaire had no bathroom facilities installed, Stasis Pod 2 was running the cleaning protocol over and over again. <laughs> I switched them. In, in the first, uh, first chapter. I switched them so that the captive, uh, or her, her bounty would be in port 1, mm -hmm. and her would be in port 2, so that it would sort of flow into her reveal. <laughs> as long as she's pissing in the criminal one, and not her one, <laughs> we're all good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but that didn't change the fact that he had been but an innocent pawn in an attempt to spite Maxis. Okay, it was just me. Okay, sweet, no worries. Uh, no, it's, it's a little bit clunky still. And there's also the, the thing that this is what Jewel thinks. Yeah. Is the thing. Right now it might be uh, presented too strongly. I'm gonna mark this whole thingy for check. Oh, and speaking of uh, the contractions earlier uh, for Raptor, like do not or don't, uh, with Raptor. Uh, he sort of ergo <laughs> like he he's he he he's speaking in a sort of a little bit uh drawn out manner so that's that's why um, i'm trying to keep his uh, uh his speech pa uh, patterns in a more sort of formal uh formal configuration yep. especially compared to jewel and also since he is controlling that situation there, he's he is controlling uh, the atmosphere. He is controlling the speed of the talk. He is stalling on purpose as well. So mm. like he is sort of dragging out the burn <laughs> to maximize the sort of like <coughs> factor. And and again, there should be this contrast with Ju Jewel is snapping back at him, and he's like. Are you certain <laughs> that you do have the blah 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 whatever? So yeah. so that's 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 the point there. Awesome. Yep. <coughs> <coughs> the jerky had left her mouth feeling dry, and the flood of information had given her a headache. Jewel reached for her water bottle only to find a single mouthful remained. Her mind flickered back to the Rice Star Station vending machine, and in her mind's eye she saw her fingers pushing jerky and skipping over water. She cursed herself for such a rookie mistake and realised her best option was to enter stasis, which, under normal circumstances, she would have done from the start. Which, comma, under normal circumstances, she would have done from the start. Which... Yeah, I can't read it any other way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which... Under normal circumstances, she would have done from the start. Yeah, yeah. This, this is this, this is what I mean when I say that uh, uh, I, I know nothing of the rules, but I use punctuation as, as, as you would for audio markings. Like mm -hmm. you, you, you will just know when you, when you will need something. 
dual checked on the main console and ensured that Solitaire was on track to the prison station Fortune had been held on. It would take nearly a megasecond to complete transit. She commanded the computer to cross-reference all the information she had scanned and set the shuttle to data leech any Netrix nodes they might pass. She secretly welcomed the urgency as this ruled out having to see her father before the job was done. Okay, world building issues here. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so basically when you're in transit then you are not on course. So I will weed that one out. Mm -hmm. And also... Uh, Dictating a time to complete yeah, transit. Uh, no. I could, uh, we, could, we could say that... Um, mm, what we could mention here is that... Uh, she is in t transit to system estimated transit duration but you never know I hope they haven't got the guy from Microsoft to do the transit countdown time <laughs> <laughs> bad deal we are <laughs> With Microsoft seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Three hours, twenty minutes, one week, four days. <laughs> and also, she just. W I don't think we need to say. Uh, we need to say it uh, uh, that she orders the computer to do anything. We can say yeah. that she orders the shuttle to do anything because the computer system is part of the shuttle. Mm -hmm. I think. I think. And also not command it maybe, but set or or yeah or instruct it or. I think set is probably like you you flick through a menu, tap a couple of things, and then yeah. it's like oh that's set now I'm done. So yeah, instead of commanded the computer, she she set solid here to cross reference all information she had scanned. And I will mark this as iffy. Okay. Because again, uh, this seems to, if you say uh, you set the shuttle to data leech uh, any Netrix nodes they might pass, point one, this sort of insinuates that. Uh, this can happen while they're in transit and point two it's kind of redundant because if you're in uh, direct communications range then you link up with uh, with the quote-unquote internet anyway mm -hmm. so it's redundant yeah completely and utterly redundant also need to do a bit more world building on the netrix i think before we start making sweeping claims yeah also she uh, doesn't actually pass through any systems. It's a direct link from here to Li Shan, or from here to Trelasi. Yeah. So, so any any info she she gathers is from the, from Trelasi nodes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Continue. Mhm. Mm ah, the pod. The pod. 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 <laughs> Drink every time he says pod. Okay, before the confirmation. Oh, sorry. Let me. Before the confirmation that her pod was ready, Jewel was dressed in her usual stasis garb and stepping into the pod. The door slid into place and the chamber started to fill with vapor. Most pe most people found this moment jarring. For Jewel, it meant a sense of security. She closed her eyes and counted one. Then a blinding flash locked the pod's contents in a state of contained stillness. Solitaire's active systems began to shut off. Began to shut. Be okay, yeah, never mind. Solitaire's active systems began to shut off. Jules' bag floated up from the floor and bounced gently between the pods. The low hum of the gas regulator died down. Finally, the lights went off. Solitaire's active systems began to wind down. Yeah, that's that's more what I'd like. Began to makes it sound like a 
lengthy process. But I don't imagine turning the lights off is not a lengthy process, yeah. you know? So I don't really know what I'm trying to get at with that. I will replace this with something else, like bounce gently in the interior or something. Jewel dressed in her usual guard garbage, garbage <laughs> dressed in her usual stasis garb, mm -hmm. and step. Which, funny enough, is just a bin bag with some holes poked in it, so not <laughs> far off. <laughs> <laughs> Into the board. The panels. The front panels. Yeah, this is where I didn't put commas everywhere. Slid into place and the chamber filled with vapor. I think again not started to unlike many is no longer a problem here and I think the second one is no longer a problem either this feels like this should all be one sentence I don't know uh, this I don't yeah. know yeah yeah I think and it, like proper one sentence not even with the semicolon shenanigans she closed her eyes and counted one then a blinding clash locked the pod's contents in a state of contained stillness such a beautiful image <laughs> and definitely not cryo <laughs> <laughs> this is advanced space time uh, interaction, yo. <laughs> uh, the next chapter is the arrival in the Trelasi system, and I think that's save for another day material. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've we've done much uh, as it is. Okay, so the second. Uh, I found the golden golden mean. Solitaire's active systems were winding down. Nice. Jewel's bag floated from the floor and bounced gently. Uh, amidst, inside, among around, just from the floor and bounce gently around. Might have to get yeah. someone to check that. Bounce gently oh around. yeah, yeah. It was missing the uh, end of the sentence it seems. <laughs> I like it a lot. regulator uh, slowed and stopped because we already had winding down finally comma the lights went out the low hum of the gas regulator muted 
slowed and stopped. I don't. I, I'm having trouble. It's like with dun 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 dun. dun. Oh, I get ya. Okay. Um, you know, like uh, if if you have a fan slowing down and then. Yeah. It's not an instantaneous thing. Yeah, no, I'm with you. All right. Cool. Well then. Right. Yeah, and all the rest of the thingies, I will leave them for independent work.